One of my preseason favorites, one of my early pickups, I think after week one, I said, go get this guy. And that was Kenny Gainwell running back for the Philadelphia Eagles, only rostered in about a quarter of ESPN leagues. So he should be available in most leagues. Um, Week four, he finished with 31 rushing yards, six catches, almost 60 receiving yards and a score about 21 fantasy points. Uh, man, does he look head and shoulders above Miles Sanders? So I just think if Miles Sanders keeps up this whole inept playing ability that he has, where he just hasn't he hasn't looked good for a while, and he's not he's not the the two minute back. He's not. I mean, he wasn't in the goal line packages, and he can't. He has almost no receiving upside. And then to boot, he finished uh, the game against Kansas City with seven carries for 13 yards. Like to me, the answer is Kenny Gainwell. I just think that if and as Miles Sanders keeps up this mediocrity, um, that you're going to see the Eagles turn more and more to Kenny G. So I'm super pumped uh, in leagues where he is available. I would spend the fab to get him. Uh, he's going to be a little more expensive this time than when we told you to pick him up a couple weeks ago. Alex, how much would you drop on Kenny G? I still don't think you need to spend over five to get him. Oh, uh, really? Talk, if if people have been listening to the pod, they are probably already have him, honestly, um, because uh, what it's week five and we've mentioned him, uh, I believe, five straight weeks uh, as far as, hey, go pick him up. Still being rostered in in the 20s, which is crazy. 25% of leagues. Um, yeah, he's going to probably be the, the lead back starting in week 10. I don't know how much I trust that offense. They've been throwing the ball like crazy. Um, even against Kansas City, which can't stop the run. They only ran the ball 19 times. Um, I don't know how many of those were called rushes considering Hertz had eight, eight of those carries. And they got criticized so, for it last week against Dallas. And you know what they did? They turned around and did the same thing again because Miles yeah. Sanders has 13 yards on seven carries. He can't run the ball. Yeah, but Miles Sanders was fine the week before that. He w- Miles Sanders does not look terrible when he gets the ball. That's my, I mean, he's inefficient. If you actually, Sure, but he still looks like old Miles Sanders. Like he's averaging uh, five, just under five yards a carry, four point six yards a carry against Dallas. He like last week was the first time he averaged under four yards a carry. They're just not giving him the ball, quite frankly. Um, he had seven attempts so, for thirteen yards. How much more should they give him against Kansas City? If you don't give your lead back at least 15 carries, then I don't know what kind of offensive game plan you're running. Seven for 13. bad coaching. Seven for 13. Kenny G had 30 yards on three carries. Okay. Again, I know what you're saying. You should add Kenny Gainwell, Gainwell now with the assumption he's going to be the starter by the end of the season. Starting in week 10 is the projection, right? So the same thing happened with a lot of rookie running backs last year where all of a sudden they got up to speed, they know what's going on, and they took off. If the Eagles aren't going to run the ball, then Kenny Gainwell at least has the receiving duties clearly in that backfield. So he has some standalone value. Again, I said a couple weeks ago, you don't need to bid more than five on him. You said, uh, I'm bidding up to 20% of my fab. This is back in week two. That was totally unnecessary. He's still only owned in 25% of leagues. People are sleeping on him. You still don't need to bid more than 5% to get him if he's available in your leagues. You, If you're 0-4, you think you're only going to spend 5% on a guy that you think might help you win a week? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would I if, I if would rather go get Latavius Murray. I yeah. would rather go get Damian Williams than Kenny Gainwell. Yeah, I'll get, I mean, I'll give you those two. Um, but outside of that, Get you some Kenny G. I'm high on him. I think he's great. 